Hey, so today I'm going to be doing this inspired look. It was inspired by Catherine Pierce, also known as Dobrev, who um, plays the character Catherine Pierce in the television show Vampire Diaries. Um, the TV show actually just came to a close of season two and season three is going to be out, but I have to wait for it and oh my gosh, I cannot wait for it. I am absolutely, lo absolutely in love with this show. If you follow me on Twitter, then you would know that if you give me anything vampires, then I am just in love. Um, so I thought I'd just kind of, cause everyone always kind of says that my videos aren't long enough, so I thought I'd just do a little bit of a chit chat and everything like that to kind of try and make this video just a little bit longer for you guys. Um, so my favourite characters in the show um, would have to be Elena Gilbert, who plays the main kind of, kind of the character who the series is based upon, and then of course Stefan and Damon, Salvatore are my favourite. Um, between them, I know that there's the kind of ongoing debate, Stefan or Damon, um, for his really kind of like pure and kind heart, but then Damon because I think he's just really, really, really sexy. Um, but yeah, so who do you prefer? I'm not sure. Let me know below. Are you a Damon or a Stefan fan? But um, I think just with what happened in season two, so if you would have seen the series and you kind of know what I'm talking about, I definitely think that um, Caroline and Tyler should be together. It's like kind of like a forbidden romance, Romeo and Juliet. I don't know, I just really, really like them together. And I know that lots of people have said that I resemble Caroline, who who's actually in the Vampire Diaries. So that's a really good compliment because I absolutely love her. And I think it's just because maybe the blonde hair and also because we're both quite bubbly characters type thing. But um. Yeah, so thank you if you do, because I absolutely love her. Um, one of my favourite characters would have to be Catherine Pierce. Um, just throughout the whole series, she's appeared kind of really confident, um, also sexy and sultry. So I've kind of compiled a little clip of her, so you guys can see if you don't watch the show, then you'll kind of get a gist of the look and kind of persona which I'm going for in today's kind of look, which I'll pop up now. enjoy today's video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Okay so the first step is to grab a full coverage foundation. I'm going to be using Estee Lauder's Individualist and this is in Fresco 01 and I'm using Sigma's foundation brush F60 and we just want to apply a little bit of our foundation just to give ourselves a nice coverage and cover any imperfections that we may have. And don't forget just to bring the colour down to the neck. So we just want to grab a powder and we just want to sweep this across the face just to minimise the pores and also just to obtain a flawless finish. I'm using a couple shades that is um, off my normal colour just because as we are going for the vampire look you want um, some nice chiseled features with contouring. You just want to grab an eyeshadow. I'm going to be using the Mineral Eyeshadow by Michael Todd in Knock Me Down Key. And it's a really nice plummy, purpley type colour, but it's also quite dark as well. And I just want this to kind of act as a base and as a beginning point for our look. I just want to concentrate this colour into the water duct area and I do not want to put it past my crease line. Okay, so the next step is taking a black eyeshadow, I'm going to be using Sigma Makeup's Paint It Black and so this is just a really nice shimmery black eyeshadow with a, just a kind of rounded tip eyeshadow brush. We just want to begin applying this colour into our crease line. Just apply it to the outer corner of the eyelid and then up into the crease line. And we just want to wing it off slightly.
And then we just want to leave it like this, no kidding. To now grab a silvery type eyeshadow, matte eyeshadow. And I'm just going to start blending this in with the paraben type colour. Grabbing a little more of that black colour, we just want to now just kind of bring it down to the water duct area through the crease line. So windshield wiper motions through the crease line with a black eyeshadow. Now grabbing an off-white eyeshadow, one that's similar to your skin tone, we want to apply this as our highlight colour. So we're going to be bringing it down and then blending it out. Now taking a black eyeshadow on a pointed eye brush, we just want to bring some of this black colour to our lower lash line, just to the outer third. Time for a little eyeliner, so we just want to line our upper lash line and lower lash line. So now on to eyelashes. Okay, so I'm back and I've put some eyelashes on. Now I'm just going to grab the black um, eyeshadow again with just a round top eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to dot some black eyeshadow just on the line of the eyelashes just to make it blend a little more. And I'm also just going to add a little more black eyeshadow just into the outer corner of the crease to add a little more intensity and depth throughout the look because it is quite a dark look but I just want to darken it up in that little area there. Once again, bring a little more black eyeshadow to the lower lash line. Just grabbing a mascara, I'm going to just line my lower lash line. That's it for the makeup type um, eyeshadow look. Now with the blush, what I'm going to do is I'm using my Crystal Sense 10 color blush palette and I'm just going to go in with this darkest type orangey plummy color just a little bit on the brush. I probably grabbed a little bit too much and I just want to lightly apply the powder to my cheekbones bring it up into the hairline and I'm just going to use my fingers just to lightly pat this down and also just give it more of a velvety type feel and blending it into the skin Okay, so with Catherine and Nina Dobrev who plays the character, um, she has a really nice defined face with really nice defined cheekbones. So I'm just going to contour my cheekbones. So I'm going to be using a little bit of a bronzer, Stralis bronzer with a um, kind of corner contour brush. And I'm just going to lightly contour underneath my cheekbones and bring them up just to give a little bit of a hollowing effect to mimic her face. And to give myself a little more of a jawline, I'm just going to add a little bit of bronzer to that area. And then the last step is with a lip gloss or a lipstick. I'm going to grab a lip gloss for this one and I'm using the Minerese. And it's just in a, I'm not sure what the colour is, but it's a really nice dark deep plum colour. So that's the overall look for Catherine Pierce from The Vampire Diaries. I hope you enjoyed it and now I'll go into the hair for you. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the hair. So she has some really nice kind of long curls but I was con contemplating putting extensions if you want to see one with extensions but all it's going to be is stick with some extensions and then I'll have some really nice long curls. But she always um, has a centre part, so this is the first thing. So I've already parted my hair in a centre part. And now because she has a little bit of volume, but she doesn't have too much around this area, it's more volumised towards the ends. So all that I'm going to do is grabbing some hairspray. I'm going to be using Elnet Satin Hairspray. I'm just going to spray either side of my part. <coughs> I think I just inhaled some of that. Um, and then I'm just going to kind of flatten down it a little bit on either side of my part. 
because she does have really nice kind of loose curls towards the end so um, when you take it out your hair is going to be kind of really buffy and so this is actually second day curls by I just put my hair up into a bun when I went to sleep last night so all that you need to do is just to kind of brush out the curls very lightly just so that they fold just a little bit but not too much because you still want curls but you don't want full-on pageant type curls because they're going for a very um, kind of sexy, sultry type look. And just the way she walks and how she presents herself, that's what we're going for. And so if you find that your hair has become too droopy, if you've done second day curls, you can always grab a kind of mousse. And this is plumped up volume, so this is just to give yourself some more kind of lift. But, because I think I have enough today, so I'm not going to put any of that through. So we just finger comb it out a little bit. Make sure that the curls aren't too um, kind of curly. And then just spray it to hold it in. And there we go. So now I'm going to move on to the outfit for you. So this is the outfit which I compiled just to kind of reflect or which I reckon reflects Catherine Pierce. So um, throughout the series she's been a very kind of sexy, sultry type character. Um, she's bought lots of kind of evil and everything like that but she's also really kind of composed and confident in what she wears. So in the last episode she was actually wearing kind of like tight black pants with a tight black kind of form fitting top. So I've just paired these kind of um, pants that are also leggings, so they're kind of like tight black pants. And they just finish just above the ankle, like so. And they also have just kind of like a cut out detail and stitching throughout so they're very form fitting. And then I've just paired it with a basic black singlet to also get the really nice kind of form fitting, figure hugging I guess it's called, um, effect. And then also with a leather jacket, I've just gone with this black one that I have. It has shoulder pads and is very structured with lots of kind of metal details to give a really nice kind of edgy and quirky feel and then with the rings I've just gone with the turquoise in a silver setting and it's inspired by the YSL Arty ring and then also a gold little fox ring and with shoes um, throughout the series she she's always seen in high heels because you can always hear her walking down hallways and everything like that but just for the um, kind of make it easier to walk in because these are actually my favourite shoes at the moment I decided to go with a pair of black velvet suede type wedges. Um, um, they are so easy to walk in. I definitely recommend them. And I think that they just complete the entire outfit. And yeah, and then with hair and makeup, which you would have seen how I did. Oh, and then also black nail polish just to complete the look to give yourself really kind of nice darkish type effect feel. But yeah, so that's the entire outfit and the look. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.